What is going on YouTube? It is Snizzle Pop here. It's been a while. Uh, I think a few months since I've posted my last video. Uh, still out there though, just like everybody else, hunting, you know, grabbing keys, specking on stuff, getting, you know, weekly pickups every Wednesday. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to throw a video to, together. Um, just kind of showing you guys stuff I've been finding out in the wild. Uh, planning on heading out of town again this weekend, hitting a couple other shops um, about an hour, hour or two away from me. Um, got some stuff on a, a want list that I'm hoping I can score for for cheap on the down low. Um, but yeah, so just kind of wanted to show you some of the stuff I've been getting the last few months. Um, I need my marker here so I know where, what I'm doing. So I'll start out with uh, Inhumans number five, um, first appearance of Yelena Belova, and uh, rumor is she's in the next uh, Black Widow movie that's they're currently filming right now. Um, potentially she could be handed the you know the mantle or title of Black Widow uh, with Natasha, spoiler, uh, dying in Endgame. So uh, yeah, wanted to get that first appearance. Also to go with that. Um, Kind of that little three-issue mini-series that kind of talked about the relationship between Natasha and Yelena. I um, think that one could have some some future value to it as well. I know there's a variant out for this one, too, that's on fire right now. But I at least wanted to get the, the little three-issue run right there. Um, and then, of course, got Marvel Fanfare 11, which is the first appearance of Iron Maiden. Um... I believe she's either rumored or is going to be in the movie as well. So, you know, never hurts to grab one of those. Um, next couple here, more on the cosmic side of it. Um, Got to go with first appearance of Pip the Troll. I know he hasn't appeared yet, but uh, with talks of Phase 4 kind of branching, MCU branching out in two directions, you know, more Earthbound heroes and your more cosmic heroes, he's bound to show up, um, you know, especially you think around Guardians of the Galaxy or something, you know, with the comic relief potential of that guy. Um, then you have the first appearance of Madame McEvil over there in Invincible Iron Man 54, who we all know is uh, the daughter of Drax or Moon Dragon. Which also here is Daredevil and the Black Widow 105, which is the issue in which she takes the code name or is given the, the name Moon Dragon. So it's good to have both of those. And then one of the hottest specs that's been going on regarding the MCU. Uh, finally had to jump on it before it got too out of control in price. But it's the uh, rumor of the Thunderbolts. Coming to the big screen. Um, had to get that first appearance, you know, there in Incredible Hulk 449. Um, and I don't know if anybody's been keeping up on the current Punisher series. Um, but at the end of that latest issue, spoiler, um, Kingpin introduces a new Thunderbolts team. So, not saying that's going to be the one of the movies or even this one, but... Obviously, the Thunderbolts are on the mind of MCU, so uh, had to get in on that. As well as the, got this for a quarter, the special uh, issue zero Thunderbolts from Wizard. And their first number one of their ongoing series, too, as well. Then I had to get some some '90s love going here. Uh, first appearance of Sleepwalker. I think he's got huge potential. Whether it's in the MCU, uh, I'm thinking more maybe the Hulu side of it. But I think you should grab those while you can. I, th I think he's got some potential. As well as this other '90s icon there, the old Dark Hawk. Um, again. Cosmic side of the MCU, uh, he could pop up. Uh, next, again, just like at the uh, 
the big epic battle at the uh, the end of Avengers Endgame uh, when all the females rose up together and started whooping some ass. Um, I wanted to go ahead and get on that. And A Force number one, you never know. Uh, I know some of the, the actresses have talked and lobbied for kind of an all female Avengers movie. Could happen. So that's uh, A Force number one there. And then the Scotty Young variant as well. And then to cover all bases as well, um, Volume 2, A Force number one. As well as the variant by Hughes, and people are big fans of Hughes. And when he he puts some out, you know, people go for it. And then with the Hulu Marvel side of it, um, I grabbed Spirits of Vengeance number one. I already had these copies, but I, I found these out in the wild, so I wanted to add them, as well as the. Variant edition. Um, this next one is the first appearance of a character named Glyph. That is also talked about being in that Spirit of Vengeance series. And this is issue number one of Howling Commandos of S.H.I.E.L.D. And it's that rare variant that pays homage. Um, I've seen this one going for a pretty decent price on eBay. I end up snagging this one in a dollar bin. So, lastly, I just want to keep this short, you know. Um, again, you know, we all know the X-Men are coming. We don't know when, we don't know how, but we know they are. And when they do, you know they're going to have to square off against the Avengers. So, I had to make sure I got my copy of Avengers 53. And that's the first time the Avengers, or the X-Men, I'm sorry, appeared in an Avengers title. Um, so, again, we know the X-Men are common, and we know they're, you know, in typical comic book fashion. They're going to have to scrap it up a little with the Avengers until they all realize, oh, we're all heroes and we're all on the same side, let's be friends. But I think this is a, a key issue to grab now, because when it's announced... Yeah, look out for anything with X-Men. Um, and that's going to kind of be in my next video. I've been kind of hitting up a lot of key appearances and introductions uh, in X-Men titles. A lot of low-key characters that, again, you never know what they're going to do and who they're going to introduce. So you kind of want to snag up everything you can now. So, yeah, look for that other video coming out. Also, too, um, if I get lucky... <laughs> comic book wise this weekend hunting i'll put together a small video of that as well showing you what i was able to score um and then lastly i am also working on the snizzle pop origin video um where i will tell my origin story and basically how i got into comics and and how i fell in love with it so uh yeah again i apologize it's been months um so i hope you know, you guys like, uh, pass this video around, uh, just get some more subscribers. I, I promise I'll get some more content out there. Uh, and also too, I'll eventually be dipping into my personal collection as well, showing you guys key runs of, um, different titles and characters and stuff as well. So, uh, yeah, thanks for sticking it out with me. Um, appreciate you tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. And this is Snizzle Pop. And uh, you've been popped.